Hey, welcome to the Smarter Tech Podcast. This is a special episode and I hope this is not too nauseating, moving like that, oh my God. Today I'm doing a special product review and unboxing of the, Mer the Dr. Mercola Silver Shield EMF Shielding Tent. And you're gonna see what this is in just a second. Here it is. Yes, I purchased it with my own money. Sometimes people send me products, but it was not the case this time. This Dr. Mercola Silver Shield, just to show you how big it is, uh, it is, I mean, it is like, a f what is two feet by two feet, that package. It weighs around, I would say, a couple of pounds. It's pretty light for what it does. And you're gonna see in a second, what is a, this thing? Um, the first thing I want to do is open the package for sure. And what do we have inside? Well, we have a second package. This thing is a special bag and it says this bag is needed for the protection of the silver fabric of your tent to keep it from oxidation or tarnishing over time. So this is a long-term uh, bag where you want to keep your, um, your tent in there uh, if you do not use it for a certain amount of time and the which will be my case in in my case I hope I'm going to be able to use this EMF shielding tent to uh, to travel with and I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna switch my face here and just tell you why would you want to use a travel tent that blocks EMF so if you've been following my work for a few years or even just a few days or a few months, you probably know that electromagnetic fields is a stressor. Uh, and I'm talking about the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, what else? Cell phones, cell towers, everything that's environmental. And there's such thing as the environmental uh, electropollution. That's part of why I use these glasses. For example, they're blue blocking glasses and I use them especially in front of the computer. Now, I should probably not use them for this video, but they sure look cool like Bono. So anyway, if you travel, uh, or even if you're at home and you're looking for a very affordable way to block external signals, uh, right? Because wh why would you want to do that? You can turn off your own Wi-Fi. You can turn off your own cell phone. You can turn off uh, or make sure you don't own Bluetooth enabled uh, uh, smart devices all over your home, but what can you do about outside exposures? The reality is that there's a lot of towers. There's the 3G, 4G, LTE, 5G towers nowadays, and it, there's a lot of electropollution in cities uh, and even in the countryside, depending on where you stand vis-a-vis uh, -vis certain cell phone towers. So the reality is that it's becoming increasingly difficult to sleep in a low EMF environment. Now, there are many solutions to sleep in a low EMF environment or, or, or nearly no EMF environment. For example, you can paint the, the entire room with a carbon-based paint that's gonna completely shield from outside signal. But we're talking about an investment that's substantial. And um, this is something I'm planning to do in this condo. Thank God we just be, became owners a few months ago and within two years time we're gonna do major works here and I'm gonna shield that room so that's something you can do but if uh, you're in a temporary situation like you're a renter or you're just traveling to a new Airbnb or hotel room then you can consider a tent like the silver shield in order to shield yourself nearly a hundred percent especially from the wireless radiation but also from the electric fields in your environment during the night. So what are the benefits? Well, better sleep, better recuperation, more energy in the morning, and better health overall. Uh, many professional athletes and people in the health space that are already at a high level have reported better sleep and better ab uh, ability to recuperate from their workouts, for example, when they use or when they sleep in the silver shield or in a completely a shielded environment, a Faraday cage, um, in other words. And you could use also a bed canopy, something you put over your bed, but again, these are a substantial in, uh, investment and it's not something you can carry around. So that's where the silver shield comes in. So when you open the silver shield, it looks like that. There's like a, a strap in the middle that you have to move around. 
And then I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! So it's a pop. <laughs> I did not expect that. That's a that's actually a genuine laugh. Uh, okay, <laughs> I did not expect expect it to be so crazy, but. But it pops up in a second. It is a pop-up tent. So you can see that uh, it's, quite, it's quite large. I mean, in the end, you want to put your entire body in it. So if you put it over your bed, let me... The camera is just horrible at the moment. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. So my, I have a queen-size bed. So you can see that this is a, a substantial piece of equipment uh, but having already slept in it uh, once, I can tell you that for my size is perfectly fine, but I'm just 5'5 five, five, five on a good day. So if you're larger than that, the reality is that it is a relatively small environment to sleep in. So I have to be honest about you about that, but um, we'll, we'll look about how much it shields from external signals and the shielding properties of this thing is simply incredible. And you might wonder, how is it that this is able to block signals? Well, there's a special fabric on there that is made uh, out of silver and uh, other materials as well. Hence the name Silver Shield. And this is how it's able to block wireless radiation. There's also a second thing to be noted that's very cool. There's a little button here where you can plug uh, um, a special wire and you run that wire from the tent to the ground of an outlet. So from here to here. And what it does is this will ground the tent. And if you ground the tent, you're going to minimize electric fields as well uh, and also dirty electricity. So you reduce other types of signals um, by doing that. So let's look at what's included in the package because yes, you have the tent and you have uh, the carrying or long-term bag thing uh, or carrying case also or carrying, uh, let's say, bag. Uh, and you also have uh, the little wire that will make you able to plug it into a wall. So let's look at those. So what do you have inside? You have the owner's manual, kind of explains how to fold it and uh, there's links to, to videos on how to fold it. And I must say, it was a learning curve, learning how to fold it back. Uh, how to open it is very easy, but anyway, just wanna be honest. It is a bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's gonna be uh, easy. There's also some, um, some silver, um, silver, how do we call it? To repair a tear. Anyway, you can repair, that's a thread, a spool of thread, yeah. Um, to repair uh, any any tears because that's a Faraday cage. It needs to be completely enclosed and 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 to to block the signal to make it a complete Faraday cage. Um, there's uh, here uh, an outlet tester. Why do you want to test it? Well, if I am to use this thing again, this in this outlet, I want to know that the outlet is indeed grounded. So what I'm going to do is plug it in. And if you have the two lights, the two yellow lights that light up, it means yes. And the other thing you have in there is this little thingy and that little thingy, and they're connected via wire. What, why would you have that? Well, that's the wire I told you about. The first thing, you, so you put it right here. And the second one right here, so it's plugged, right? There's uh, the entire wire. Sorry about the camera play, I'm still learning. Uh, and the second wire will go here in the ground. It's even better if you ensure that uh, there's no electricity at night in your room. So whether you flip off the breaker, it's, I'm not a fan of doing that every night necessarily, or using, um, using something uh, like the, um, the EMA, uh, it used to be called EMF uh, safe switch. Um, so I'm going to link it in the show notes. There's a way to uh, more safely switch off your breakers at night uh, without um, damaging them long term. So anyhow, now it's connected to the ground through a wire. So that's something you can do in hotel rooms. That's something you can do in multiple uh, countries. And, uh, and now I'm ready to test the interior of the tent and uh, be the guinea pig a little bit. 
So I, oh, I've opened the zip a little bit to show you how it looks like. Uh, there's a zip, but also over the zip, there's a system of magnets where this little piece of fabric will go over the zip. Why is that? Well, um, if the zip were, was not shielded the way it, it, it is, uh, signal would go in and through the zip. So it, it's a way to ensure that it's completely shielded. So when you're inside the tent, you want to ensure that this fabric is over the zip outside and inside as well. And there's a magnet system where uh, there's little magnets in there. You can see there's like long magnets and they will stick to the other side. So it's quite easy to do and you'll see that the results will be tremendous. Um, let's, uh, let's take some readings. This is uh, a new meter that uh, we've started using called the CEM Protec 34 and it measures three types of, uh, of different EMFs at the same time. So let me take a better look at this. Magnetic, electric, and HF wave. High frequency wave, which means the wireless radiation. If I open this, and sorry, just make sure your sound is a little bit uh, reduced. Do you hear that? I know it sounds very bad. So this is what we hear is the cell phone towers. So even though I do my best to minimize EMFs, this, sorry, that's a mess. That's like my, my office environment is very embarrassing. Anyway, the, this, this computer is connected on Ethernet and this phone where I'm, I'm doing the recording from is not connected on anything. And yet on that meter, we clearly hear all the wireless pollution in the environment. I am inside the tent now. It's kind of difficult to film, but you can see that I've, I've closed. It's not perfect. This, this thing kind of hangs a little bit and the magnet system is not perfect, but I think it will be good enough on the reading. So why, why don't we check the meter again and remember the sound it made in the exterior and now inside the tent, let's see how it sounds like. There's still something, hold on. So through doing testing, I've realized that um, it is indeed true that if you uh, turn off Bluetooth, but that the icon stays white on an iPhone, um, it will cause problems. I still have high magnetic fields here, and I think that's uh, likely because um, it is grounded, but uh, with electricity in the room, and I'm still wondering why is it that the magnetic fields are a bit elevated? That might have to do with my uh, the wiring in this room. So I'll, I'll have to uh, hire Brian and his team to figure it out. But you can see that as far as what we're hearing, it is next to none. So the reduction is extremely dramatic in wireless radiation. And the electric fields, uh, this is, uh, of course, freestanding free uh, in a sense that this is not a reading where I'm grounded. Um, uh, the, the meter itself, but anyway, the electric fields are low and HF wave also is very low. So I know that this environment is extremely low on a wireless standpoint. And, and that's, uh, that means, I mean, the tent is, is working fine. So my impression of the tent is that it's extremely easy to open and set up. Uh, it is large enough for me. And if you're a little bit larger than me, which a lot of men and women are, <laughs> I'm a small guy, um, you would have a relatively small space to stay in, but it's probably, I mean, it, it might, it's probably very manageable if you're uh, into health that much that you want to use a tent to shield yourself from EMS at night. So there's, that tells you something. So my impression is eight out of 10. Uh, it is very, very uh, effective at blocking external signal and this is a portable solution that weighs a few pounds. Uh, it is foldable in, uh, and, and you can put it in a medium suitcase easily. And this is something I will be traveling with uh, when I do uh, business travel, conferences, uh, short-term travel. And then if I sleep alone, maybe my, my, my wife has a, 
uh, is uh, going away to France in a couple of weeks uh, and I'll be able to uh, kind of sleep by myself, well, I'll probably manage to keep the tent here and sleep in it because there's going to be some benefits and I want to test, uh, can it really change my health? Can it really uh, improve my sleep and uh, can I quantify that change? So I'm going to do another video when I'm able to sleep for 10 to 14 nights straight in this tent and see if it changes my baseline uh, sleep. In the meantime, you can find uh, that uh, Silver Shield tent uh, at the link underneath this video or in the show notes. And uh, at the moment, I don't have any affiliation with Dr. Mercola, so I don't even get a, some sort of compensation talking about it. If I do fine, because it's one of the ways that I'm able to do this, uh, uh, this job, because it's one of the ways I make a salary, but um, I, I did not, um, I was not hired by Dr. Mercola or anything like that when it comes to doing a review. Uh, why I decided to review this tent is that my colleague Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing participated in uh, the creation of this tent and helped Dr. Mercola's uh, team get it right. So I know that the product is good and the testing really confirms that this is a great product to consider if you're traveling your way or even if you're home but you want to have a very very uh, affordable solution to sleep shielded at night and uh, it looks like uh, the silver shield passes the sniff test so i hope you like this video and i'm gonna see you next time see ya